session now you are right at so we'll start with the introduction of all the speakers for today's session and then we can go on with the ppt and the presentations so first up we have pushpa mala ma'am uh, who is a senior itf member she is from bangalore section and also is part of xcom itf xcom and she is the co-chair of both itf mdc and sales Apart from IT, she is also part of IST and IANG. She works as an assistant professor at the Department of EC in the Anisagar University, Bangalore. And next, we have uh, Ms. Divya, ma'am. She is also a senior member of IT, and she is a IT, Bangalore Section Expo member. And her current position in MDC is that she is the chair of MDC. And apart from MDC, she is also part of ACM. So uh, her day job is uh, she works as a joint director at CTSF and Adbin Group at CDAC Bangalore. Oh, for the next uh, we have Ashwini Holla, ma'am. She is also a senior member at ITPLE, and she is part of XCOM. At Mangalore subsection and vice chair of WAE affinity group at Bangalore section. And also, she works as a professor at Kanara Engineering College, Mangalore. Next up, we have uh, Vishwas Lakundi. Uh, he's a senior member at ITP and also chair of ITP Computer Society, Bangalore chapter. And he works as a chief data protection officer at Smart and Spaces, Bangalore. And least but not last but not least, we have Dr. Paramesh Shachari BD. He's also a senior member of ITRPLE and he's a chair elect at Mangalore, a subsection, and an ex com member at ITRPLE Bangalore section. He's also a chair of ITRPLE Information Theory Society Bangalore chapter and secretary at ITRPLE CAS Bangalore chapter. And he also work, works as a professor at GSSI IET for women in Mysore. I think uh, I'll transfer the mantle to the VMM for the next session. Shall I share the PPT? Will you take over, please? Ma'am, uh, can you make it full screen, ma'am? Uh, sure. Is it fine? Yes, ma'am. Uh, shall I go ahead, ma'am? Please. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, everyone. So today we'll be had. Uh, we'll, I'll just introduce to what is IEEE. Then we'll uh, IEEE Bangalore section. What are uh, what is IEEE Bangalore section? Then we have several technical societies. Out of that, two societies will be will be accessing. One is from women in engineering and the other one is from computer society. What are the membership benefits as a student member? And then we have question and answer session. Next slide, ma'am. Now, I typically uh, stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. And the main motto of I is advancing technology for humanity. It is a non-profit organization. And this is one of the world's largest technical professional organization dedicated to advancing technology exclusively for the benefit of humanity, which means using technology for human humanitarian activities. Next slide. This was founded in 1884 with Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Edison. Uh, it is also it it is it is the largest uh, association of technical professionals, and uh, we have around uh, um, four four fifty thousand members with covering over one hundred sixty countries all over the world, and around one twenty five thousand student members and graduate student members worldwide. A graduate student member is a student member who has completed the UG. And uh, this IEEE is, an, is also recognized as a global leader in fostering world-changing technologies, developing the standards. Next, mission, develop mission statement. I'll just read the mission and vision since we cannot change it. IEEE's core purpose is to foster technological innovation and excellence for the benefit of humanity. 
Then we have the vision statement. IEEE will be essential to the global technical community and to the technical professionals everywhere and be universally recognized for the contributions of the technology and of technical professionals in improving global conditions. Next slide. Now, some facts for about IEEE at a glance. We have over uh, 396,000 members in over 160 countries. So, I already told in the beginning of the slide that we have 425,000. The 396,000 members is slight variations in the memberships every year. And about 60% of whom are from outside USA. So, it's not only USA based. We have 342 sections in 10 uh, geographical regions. So, we have region... Am I clear now? Uh, the one, am I clear? Yes, you carry on. We want to just let us explain now. Okay. Uh, we have around uh, 10 uh, regions, region 1, region 2, region 3, and up to region 10. Uh, Bangalore section, IEEE Bangalore section comes under region 10. That is, most of the Asia is covered under region 10. And we have 107, 600 student members. 2,562 chapters and these chapters will unite local members with similar technical interest. Like if you are interested in blockchain, you have a community with blockchain, chap uh, chapter related to blockchain. If you are interested in vehicular technology, you have chapters related to vehicular technology, you can interact with all the people. Then we have around 3,485 student branches at the college level and at the university level. And this is spanning across 100 countries. 2,877 student branch chapters and coming to the next important aspect is we have 39 technical societies and 7 technical councils and there are several million documents available in the IEEE digital library which is an IEEE, which is IEEE explore and this explore gives you most, most documents related to research activities and we have some sponsors with who sponsor more than 1,600 conferences in around 96 countries every year. Mom, next slide. Next. And again, we have IEEE journals, conference proceedings, IEEE standards. Anything which is of technological importance should be standardized. So IEEE is the standard for many such technological aspects. And also we have uh, select content also. Then these are the technical societies. We have Aerospace and Electronic System Societies, Antenna Propagation Society, Broadcast Technology, I'll just call up Reliability, Robotics, Automation, Signal Processing, Vehicular, to, uh, vehicular Technology, Information Theory. These are some of the societies. There are total 39 societies in total. And uh, seven technical councils, Biometric Council, RFID, Systems Council, CEDA and Superconductivity Nano Census Council and councils are free to join. Next slide. Then these are several communities which are available in IEEE and these communities will be will be addressing the recent trends which are go taking place. So we have big data community, blockchain community, brain community, cloud computing, symbiotic, sustainable ICT, smart grid, transportation, electrification community. So you can also be a part of the community and again participation is free for community. So I have already told, spoken about this. We have region 10, Asia and Pacific. So we can see the one which is in purple color on the right hand side is India. So it is covered under region 10. Uh, region 1 is USA. Next slide. And how and how does IEEE work? IEEE is mostly composed of staff, volunteers and members. We can I can say that volunteers are the backbone of IEEE. There are efforts, these efforts are accomplished through a partnership between all these members and volunteers are the key to all the IEEE activities. Volunteering at IEEE leads to networking, networking leads to profile building, profile building ultimately leads to personality development also. Next slide. Next, we have IEEE Bangalore section. It was established in 1977. And this is one of the most vibrant and dynamic IEEE sections across the globe. Uh, gaining, we have got the best uh, section award many times, two times, 2019 and 2020. We have got twice. 
and the section conducts lot of events out of which we have so we have around 800 plus technical activities and um, in the year 2017 which grew on later to 900 plus in 2018 now do we have thousands of technical activities every year conducted from various chapters student branches also conducted from the section all together form the ieee bangalore section and again in ieee bangalore section we do have subsections also north karnataka subsection bangalore subsection and mysore subsection those subsections also con conduct some event and all those events together account for the ieee bangalore section events so ieee has won the prestigious mg outstanding large section award 2013 and 19 and also we have the art and distinguished large section award we do and um, volunteers at ieee also have won some awards student branch award the uh, website awards volunteering awards several awards they are they all add on to the profile next slide so now what is the benefit of volunteering when you volunteer you gain confidence by leading your peers you make a difference in your local uh, community you meet new people you become a part of the larger ieee community you improve your soft skills through a variety of projects and activities and after all of course you'll also have fun and make new lifelong friends thank you over to divya ma'am thank you dr pushpa mala now i'll take uh, thanks for taking us through ieee overview at a larger level now i'll just straight away get into the ieee bangalore section is my audio clear dr pushpa mala yes ma'am your audio is clear fine the focus is the quality you just know dr pushpa mala started telling the thousands of conferences conducted by bangalore section as well as it globally so they what is the next thing is required is conferences we do conduct but what is most expected is quality norms and the, the innovativeness so that is the main focus of bangalore section then next technology for humanity yes what is the technology we have every technology with us and various societies are working on the core technic tech, uh, various societies working on a particular technology vertically so so whatever we do that should uh, get into the humanity uh, directly in the sense like uh, uh it can be disaster management it may be cyber physical security that kind of any technology should touch upon our medical health care that kind of thing you should touch the humanity all of our research or initiatives whatever be the waves of initiatives next maximum number of transaction and publications yeah this uh, down the line uh, when they tell about uh, opportunities and benefits you will come to know more how we we'll focus on that also as a section then industry engagement member engagement this is one live example for member engagement and various industry engagement also we do have through the industry talks and etc societies etc then the sixth one is technical society chapters various just now she was explaining about the essence of societies chapters conferences or working groups etc so this is higher member grade of or see when when you what is ieee it is a professional body you join as a student or you may be a graduate student or you may be a normal member what next yeah all those things you take a decision but when you want to become a senior member it is a very very prestigious where you have to achieve something then only you are recognized as a Mm, uh, senior member in the senior membership is not for your number of years of membership in the ieee it is for your quality your contribution to the community okay next apart from that ieee bangalore section is uh, mainly focusing on representation region and global committees just now she was explaining about uh, various regions so we we do participate in a region level also then apart from this in, in keeping in line with the previous slide uh, i would like to tell like how do we told we should conduct a good conference we told you have to participate globally how what is the uh, what is required in us like uh, so in in line in order to meet those focus uh, we have few uh, we have few initiatives which benefits the members individually also uh, we uh, section conducts conference organizes education workshop so with that you come to know how to conduct the conference how to review the papers how to do what not to do all those things will be explained then authorship workshops periodically we do conduct for the members to write how you a researcher should write a best paper how can he write how can you present his research co research uh, research data 
So that kind of workshop also we conduct. Assure discount on section and, uh, and approval conferences. Of course, see two things. If you are IEEE member, we co coordinate and many of the conferences we get a discount. And in case if IEEE is a co-sponsor of the particular workshop, we get bigger discount. Okay. Then uh, it's a quarterly. Nahi, up to, uh, now anyway, pandemic is there. Various travel grants are there, both for mem professional members as well as for students. Of course, it is for the various clauses are there. As per the clauses only, it is available, not unconditional. Then we can we can see walk and breakfast with IEEE fellows. See, fellow is the, the member who does uh, what to say who achieves in his own field is considered as a fellow not nothing to do with the wage we have a very young fellow here like the Nilesh Mehta from my ASA who's very young and or we have a very senior person also recently become member at the age of 78 that kind of examples we have the fellow is awarded for your pure research and uh, contribution Fine. Then a uh, 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 member also sometimes you know, based on our work, we will be recognized globally also. So these are the few things I would like to tell. Of course, by doing so, we always, okay, as from IEEE as well as from Bandu section, we focus on uh, uh, 17 sustainable development goals. Okay, you can refer this and it is very, it is easy to know for us also in if you are a student in case if you are giving any present presentation or assignment you can orient your talk towards this or if you're a professional you can look for a projects or a what to say research initiatives in this defined goals yeah by having said in there having said so now i just want to because already we are in the december beginning right i would like to tell what are the achievements of the key activities or achievements from the uh Bangalore section see it is it is like it's we are in continuation right so and then the talk wise today's session is first pushpamala explained dr pushpamala explained about the ieee then i told how Bangalore section is made a focus in order to meet the global vision and mission right then what what okay we understood we had whatever research or initiative we, we do it should touch upon the humanitarian requirement while to how to it's very difficult to do it as we think or we say right so that's why we showed another slide so that no we should anything we do if it should be touching upon the seven it should be within the scope of the 17 sdgs sustainable development goals okay in order to all these things what did we do in, to, in the 21 so we had a cyber physical security conference and also we had an international conference on quantum computing layer uh, uh, then we had a humanitarian technology conference that is not just uh, from bangalore or a section but india it is from r10 we had a it was a global it, it, i can say it's a global it was a global conference then we have an apart from that technical we do have a uh, we do conduct a mangalore technology conclave difference between a conclave and conferences conferences will be oriented with the particular technology technologies one or more technology okay, a conference will be oriented towards one or more technologies but technology conclaves will will have more leadership talks and also the ceos are a very high, i mean not to say a con uh, organizations will our researchers they'll come and tell what is next or what is the current development happening there it's not the uh, here a paper or a patent all those things will not be there it will be directly invited and we would like to listen that's the difference between in terms of what we do in IEEE is conclaves and conference both we try to balance in the deliverables and similarly there is north we have another subsection called north karnataka conclave then now we also various research lab and academic industry collaboration meets we'll have so that uh, we know what is the see researchers also what are what are they thinking about or what are they taking up taken up recently so that kind of initiatives so we do share from the industries so what exactly we are doing okay hmm. and then we have an international conference recently conducted connect and many of you many it was well received by the whole community then we do uh, we also conducted uh, women in engineering global service more about this uh, women in engineering our friend uh, professor ashwini will be talking soon after this then we are talking about students i'm talking about uh, professionals what about the young professionals yes uh, we do have something called uh, young professional global summit but unfortunately, today there is no uh, what to say exclusive talk on young profession. But eleventh uh, we have scheduled. It's okay, fine. Then we have various membership development. Right, once this is this event is once one example for towards that, and also recently successfully completed Mysurecon 2021. So with this, I completed my talk. Or, uh, also, I was just telling about IEEE senior grade membership. We 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 are nothing to do with just globally con uh, elevation is done. Okay, we just support the, our Bangalore section member in case. If they need any help so for that periodically we'll be conducting the workshops uh, I, I, I think with this I'm uh, 
I'm thank I'm very thankful, and I'm handing over the podium to Dr. Uh, sorry, Ashwini Holla. I, Ashwini, shall I start your PPT? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Yes, please. I, I need two minutes. You can start. You can take over, please. Yes, please. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Pushpa and uh, Divya Madam have actually given a very nice uh, introduction to what I had to uh, actually speak about. So uh, until the slides are up, um, so uh, I'd like to tell that uh, WIE, the Women in Engineering Affinity Group, uh, is basically a group of uh, people with a mission to uh, facilitate the recruitment and to help women uh, retain uh, positions in uh, technical disciplines globally. So uh, that's it. Madam, full screen, please, and the next slide, if possible. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, yes. So uh, without much ado, uh, I feel that uh, the uh, major aim of WIE to envision a community of uh, both men and women who collectively use um, their talents to innovate for the benefit of humanity is something very, uh, uh, you know, um, that actually uh, caught my idea. So uh, the next slide, please. So the uh, though WIE, um, hello, yeah, so the uh, WIE tries to recognize women and advocate uh, their leadership, uh, I mean, advocate them to leadership roles and provide some assistance and, um, you know, in member grade elevations and facilitate uh, them to you know, take up uh, lead roles. Um, personally, for me, my journey uh, with IEEE WIE started uh, in 2016. Um, uh, yeah, uh, probably six years back when uh, Bangalore section hosted the uh, uh, Region 10 uh, WIE Summit. So uh, this was uh, probably the first time when I was in a conference which ran on a very, very tight schedule uh, with just 20 minutes for speakers. And I was totally enamored by Ms. Janine Mezerska. Uh, she was a fellow, she is a fellow of IEEE and uh, also past uh, Region 10 director. And I uh, also got to interact with uh, the likes of um, uh, Dr. Takako, uh, Emiano, uh, Sujata Madam, who was the past WIE Chair, uh, Ms. Agnes Iravanti, uh, Divya Madam, of course, Karen Bartison, who was the Chair-elect then at IEEE, Howard Michel, who was the CEO, and uh, the then uh, Chair-elect for Region 10, Dr. Akinori uh, Nishihara, and a lot of my uh, friends at uh, uh, the Bangalore section as well as uh, the WIE uh, Execom. Uh, the point that I'm trying to get to is that, that um, what WIE and possibly even IEEE has given me is a load of friends uh, with technology being the common denominator. So um, we as teachers uh, are a very lucky lot uh, who get to interact with a constantly, you know, a very enthusiastic bunch of people. And uh, but still there is a void uh, that's often, you know, like filled up with activities that we take where we try to get the maximum uh, return on investment for the time that is invested, be it hobbies or anything. So I feel that the time invested in IEEE, um, uh, WIA especially, has borne a lot of uh, fruits. So I'd like to tell that uh, from then on, um, that is the 2016 uh, uh, Global Summit, there were a lot of um, activities that were organized um, even at um, uh, my student branch, um, where the students, uh, uh, where we had actually opened a student branch affinity group a uh, long time back in 2009. Um, but then uh, the focus and the awareness uh, post this event and networking was phenomenal. So um, we got to actually uh, interact and participate in many Bangalore section events. And um, uh, long story short, um, well, uh, my students and I benefited a lot from uh, uh, I IEEE, not only as uh, in, you know, uh, their personal profile building, uh, but also um, as a cohort, I could see a lot of difference, uh, be it, you know, preparedness for the placement drives or um, an awareness regarding the higher studies. So that said, um, from then on, uh, Bangalore section as well organized a lot of international events, uh, wherein I was um, lucky enough or also, you know, I garnered enough confidence 
to uh, participate in these uh, in some leadership roles uh, as in liaison uh, in the international leadership summit 2019 and in as a publicity chair for the uh, uh, wie conference uh, organized in uh, association with the bangladesh section and uh, so many other events so uh, this year uh, uh, we are uh, really happy to see that uh, Bangalore section WIE uh, affinity group, uh, this uh, COVID notwithstanding, uh, have actually organized a whopping 58 events and uh, with five conferences, uh, the, uh, apart from the flagship uh, Bangalore section uh, Connect and uh, Region 10 uh, uh, Humanitarian Technology Conference that Divya Madam was talking about. We were also involved with the Returning Mothers Conference uh, that was in collaboration with the India Council the um, Bangalore Technology Conclave that was a do, uh, in the global level and uh, also the Grace Hopper celebration, uh, which is a women only uh, celebration. So um, these conferences uh, not only provide for uh, networking opportunities, but also uh, uh, make us all the more sharper and uh, keener towards the technology ends towards which we are all uh, focusing on. So, apart from the other events, which were on, uh, on um, uh, healthcare, yoga and um, education and panel discussions and uh, so many of the workshops, we also did a lot of uh, outreach programs. Uh, there were six panel discussions with the women leaders from the industry uh, who contributed uh, very well. And um, it was, a, it, they were very engaging sessions with very good participations. So, uh, that said, um next slide please the next two slides if we can skip skip on to the uh, next so yes the women in engineering membership uh, probably we can skip these this is how we go it's about on. doing the membership uh, for students it is free um, but for uh, yeah the professionals uh, there is a nominal amount uh, next please we can probably skip on to the last uh, slide. Next one. Yeah, uh, no, 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 the next one. So, um, the benefits that are, yes, the benefits that come about um, are not only by way of, uh, you know, uh, the networking opportunities that I've been harping on, but also the WI scholarships and travel grants. Uh, as well as the awards. Um, I have personally witnessed a lot of students benefiting from these and uh, this has gone on to build their careers a lot. So I would urge all of you, uh, men and women uh, irrespective, to uh, uh, consider uh, being members of the WIE. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm done. Yes, so these are the contacts that you can actually look into. Ashwini, it's wonderful to listen to you and your journey was very, very, very like informative. Now I invite uh, Dr. Vishwas Lakundi, uh, Chair Computer Science Society. Thank you. Tahid, can you share the screen? I mean, can you give me access rights, please? Yeah, I think I can share. Just let me try. Okay. I'll stop the screen first. Wait, I'll stop this. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Vishwas, over to you. So able to see my screen? Yes, we can see and we can hear as well. Okay, great. So uh, welcome uh, everyone and good evening all. Uh, myself, Vishwas, I'm the chair of uh, IEEE Computer Society Bangalore chapter. And uh, this year is special because uh, we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of Computer Society globally. And uh, I think about IEEE, um, Previous speakers have explained quite a bit, and I would like to just concentrate on the Computer Society, which is home for computer science and engineering leaders worldwide, including India. And uh, we have more than 225K members worldwide. And uh, within the Bangalore chapter, we have close to 1,100 members today. So um, I think uh, we've been talking about different memberships. So uh, just to clear the air, there is IEEE basic membership 
and you can add on different society memberships based on your interest. For example, if you're interested in computer society, both as a student or even a professional, you can add the computer society membership at some nominal cost. And uh, what it actually brings along, uh, there are several benefits. So there are uh, flagship uh, publications uh, from IEEE Computer Society, such as Computer Magazine and Computer Edge Magazine. And also uh, the members get special pricing on all the magazines and transactions. So if you're a research student and looking for uh, uh, really good references uh, in terms of transactions and magazines, so a computer society digital library. So this is a separate digital library apart from the IEEE Explore that you will have access to. And uh, IEEE student members, that is computer society student members, the computer society digital library, the CSTL is completely free. So uh, this is a very good opportunity for all student members if you are looking for any references or transactions and magazines. And apart from that, a lot of conferences and events, uh, member only discounts are available. And also uh, in a global economy, it's very important to uh, keep pace with the latest and uh, you know also acquire some certifications. So Computer Society offers several certifications in the field of computer science and engineering. And also there are several scholarships, for example, uh, the Richard Mervin Scholarship that Computer Society offers to students the active students and uh, a lot of students uh, especially lately from india uh, they have been awarded uh, the scholarship and uh, it's a very good opportunity for students to explore on a global scale and also interact with your peers as well as senior members from computer society and apart from that you have local chapters for example bangalore section chapter is a local chapter for you so you have forums for networking, collaborating with peers and uh, other experts, and also learning at the local level because we do conduct events at the local level and you can always participate as a member. So what we uh, do at the local level, so apart from the section events such as conferences and international conferences and symposiums, we have our own computer society uh, driven events such as deeptech.ai which is an annual flagship symposium and uh, we do concentrate on different niche topics each year and this year it was AI for tackling COVID-19. So previous years we concentrated on computer vision, natural language processing uh, and so on. So we have this flagship event conducted every year and this year especially even uh, in spite of the webinar fatigue, we had about 600 registrations. Uh, so this event uh, is really taken well by the audience. And apart from this flagship event, we do conduct a lot of webinars in terms of celebrating computing series. And uh, we have this ES Connect program where we try to connect remote areas of Karnataka, for example, the Northeast and the Northwest. Um, and uh, before pandemic, we used to visit those colleges and conduct some events for the benefit of students as well as professional members. And we do have different focus groups based on your interest. And uh, we do run Girl Geeks event, which is focused mainly on the women members of Cambridge Society. And um, we also have technical sponsorship and mentorship available for different conferences. And we've been recognized for these events, both at the global level as well as at the local section level. So uh, there are many opportunities to volunteer and contribute. For example, you could be a student member just looking at resources, or you could be a professional member trying to volunteer for Computer Society and even speak at events and uh, even become a reviewer at some of our conferences and so on. So the opportunities are endless. And especially for students, we have uh, 14 student brand chapters uh, all over Karnataka. And this year we established five new chapters, MIT Manipal to SRIT Bangalore. And we do facilitate 
lot of activities for students, be it industry visits or a webinar or a talk on the topic you want, and a lot of soft skill workshops, hackathons, internships, and we also have awards and grants at the local level, and also mentoring is available whenever you, you require. So at the Comfort Society Bangalore level, we have two awards. One is the Best CS Student Chapter Award, which is on an annual basis. And also to recognize student volunteers, we have the Best CS Student Volunteer Award. And we do uh, have a lot of partnership, partnership with industry, especially in Bangalore being Silicon Valley country. So uh, we do facilitate campus interviews, internships, joint projects, and even uh, faculty development uh, programs for uh, different educational institutions in collaboration with industry. And uh, if you are looking for, for example, a thought leader from Microsoft or Amazon, we can get that done for you at your institution. And also we do have a lot of participation in IEEE standards. So we have a Exicom uh, subgroup, which focuses on standardization activities which is a great way of uh, contributing to standards because um, as you know, IEEE um, has contributed to a lot of standards, especially Wi-Fi, for example, that we have connected now. So that's an IEEE standard. And uh, as a member, as a professional member, as, as well as a student member, you have opportunities to directly participate in some of these IEEE standards and contribute to the greater humanitarian activities of IEEE. So we do offer uh, some membership discounts for 2021. So if you're a professional member and you're trying to renew or even become a new member, you can get 50% off on Cumber Society membership. And uh, similar codes are available for affiliate as well as student members. You can reach us through our website. Uh, we have everything updated on our website. And you can also uh, write to us through email and we are on all the uh, different social media channels, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. So do follow us. We do conduct a lot of events throughout the year. Thank you. And uh, thank you, IEEE Bangalore section for the support today. Members can ask the question to Dr. Vishwas. Yeah, please. If you have any questions, please feel free. It's a bit tough to get him online like unlike others. Now he's available, better you ask if you have any questions, please. Okay, in case if anything will pass Can on. I share? Perfect. Okay, I only pick up the Opportunities are endless. Yeah, this holds good for all of us. Opportunities will not walk towards us. We should and catch the opportunities and uh, contribute and grow. With a small note, I thank Vishwas, as well as uh, Dr. Ashwini, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Now over to Dr. Paramesh Chari for the next session. Yeah, you can start, uh, Professor. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Hope I am audible. Yes, you are audible and we can see your slides also. Please carry on. Okay. Okay, one minute. Yes. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity given to me during, on this occasion. Uh, I know so the food is waiting for you, so I will not take much time. Uh, so previous speakers uh, have gave more uh, intra, you know, benefits of the opportunities for the IEEE. Just I would like to highlight uh, the main important points of the IEEE membership benefits and the opportunities. So these are the main benefits of the IEEE. Uh, so keeps the technically current and grows professional network locally and internationally and uh, you can <clears throat> assess in person for the technical forms and also provides tools for uh, career development and advancement and uh, you can also have the opportunities to become volunteer and uh, give back to the society so the main important benefits for students uh, you can uh, participate for uh, exciting contents like IEEE extreme hackathon and also you can win to awards and scholarships you can approach the travel grants uh, to uh, attending the top te top technical conferences outside the India, and uh, you can apply for project funds. 
So generally, you will get uh, minimum 30% discount for all the IEEE members for all the uh, events and the conferences. So this is uh, IEEE Collaborative. IEEE Collaborative, it is the platform like uh, uh, Facebook and the LinkedIn. So you can collaborate with IEEE members uh, all over the world and you can interact with them. You can make the separate group and also you can uh, join with any of the society. So this is for IEEE Center for Leadership Excellence. So with this, we you can we are able to learn uh, a number of uh, online courses. So this uh, leadership excellence uh, offers the one-stop training solution and it's designed to serve the multiple and diverse range of uh, uh, IEEE user communities. So with this, we can able to uh, understand the uh, the roles and responsibilities of the uh, section level, student branch level, and the chapters level. And also, if you are, uh, uh, if you want to organize the conferences, or if you want to contribute to the conferences, with this you can able to learn uh, the what are the roles and the responsibilities in the conferences, and as well as the uh, section level. So this is IEEE Access. IEEE Access. Uh, this is Open Access, 100% uh, Open Access Journal. You can able to download the papers, and you can go through the papers. So free of cost, you can download the uh, whole paper, and this will be the quality publications uh, will be done in the IEEE Access. Uh, this will help us to do survey and the review. So this is IEEE dot TV uh, here also. This is an award winning and online uh, video network and it's made possible by the members of IEEE and uh, it's growing library of the programs. It includes the uh, videos and subjects. Uh, the, I mean, current uh, technologies uh, videos are available. Uh, you can also go, we can also utilize this opportunity as a become an IEEE member. And uh, this is the membership year. Generally an IEEE membership is starts from January to uh, December. Uh, and uh, if you are becoming a member at the uh, the march in the month of march you will get the uh, you know half year uh, dues uh, to become the member uh, from march to the um, december so if you are becoming an a uh, uh, member in the month of august so you will get the one and a half year membership so you can also utilize the opportunity for this so generally in the IEEE memberships and qualifications, we have student member grade, graduate student member, professional member, and the senior member. So student member grade, those who are doing the undergraduate courses, or uh, graduate student, or uh, the, uh, the part-time or regular student, they can go for the student member grade. And also graduate student member, those who are doing pursuing PhD, uh, and also uh, the faculty members pursuing, especially faculty members doing research, uh, uh, they can also become the they can registered as a graduate student member the professional member uh, uh, those who are in uh, working professionals they can become the professional member so senior member especially the senior member uh, they can have the they are if they are having the person is having the highest uh, i mean uh, the contributions uh, they can become the IEEE senior member so senior member can will get the senior member plaque after becoming the uh, senior member uh, then see you for becoming an IEEE senior member, the person with at least 10 years of uh, uh, experience uh, with uh, significant contributions, he can go for the IEEE senior member with the uh, professional memberships. So fellow uh, is, uh, it is the grade of fellow. I recognize the unusual distinction and extraordinary record of accomplishment uh, in any of the IEEE designated fields of interest. So IEEE is not only, you know, uh, helping to organize the events or conducting events or participating events. It can also help us to find out the jobs and also uh, based on our uh, profile, we can able to search the suitable job for us. IEEE site, it is one of the important uh, uh, part in the IEEE. So this is the special interest uh, group on humanitarian technology. Uh, with this, uh, we can apply for the funds. Yes. Hello. Uh, I think Bindu Madhav sir has some question. Sir. He's raised his hand. Hello. Sir, you can come over the line, no problem. Sir. No, no, there is no question. I just saw that. Uh, some... okay. okay. Is it sir, okay, sir? Yes, sir. Shall I continue? Yeah, yeah, please, okay. wait, please. Wait. Yeah, yeah. I have to play side. 
Hydropolis site is the special interest group on humanitarian technology. So actually the site membership is free uh, for uh, becoming an Hydropolis member. Uh, so with this, uh, you can uh, can conduct the outreach programs uh, and this also utilized for this site can also be utilized in the especially for BA students uh, for AACT activity point. So this uh, uh, site activity can be util, uh, you know, uh, used for the uh, AACT activity points. So for volunteering uh, in IEEE, you will have a lot of opportunities uh, to get awards from section level, region 10 level and globally. Uh, IEEE Bangalore section is also giving the awards annually and uh, even Mr. Vish Dr. Vishwas also uh, informed that annually from Computer Society, Computer Society is also giving award uh, for annually. So with this IEEE volunteer uh, will get the award from uh, section level, region 10 level, global level. And IEEE day it will organize uh, uh, conduct in the every year uh, in the month of October. So during the IEEE day celebration, uh, IEEE will provide the discounts for IEEE memberships. So you can also utilize this uh, opportunity. So one more opportunity for the professional members as well as the uh, graduate members or IEEE member, you will have an, uh, uh, your unique uh, email ID uh, where your name at IEEE.org email ID. Uh, this, will, uh, this is the one opportunity. Uh, you will get an unique email ID with, uh, with this IEEE membership. And you can also participate in IEEE Bangalore section annual general body meeting. So this will conduct every year. You can participate with IEEE AGM along with the family. You can become the uh, mentor for technical projects. See, uh, the last year, the IEEE Bangalore section has uh, introduced uh, student projects. So for student project, IEEE has uh, provided uh, the mentor from the industry also. So this will help the academia to, to bridge the gap between academics and the uh, industry. Uh, they have sponsored the projects with uh, the uh, the seed I mean, the project fund of rupees 500, 5,000 rupees for each project uh, they provided. So it was initiated from the last year. So this will also help for the students uh, to get the funds from the IEEE Bangalore section. So these are the main benefits for any of the student branch. So it's a body and association with the professional body is achieving receiving recognition from the accreditation bodies like NBA and the NAC and also a number of uh, um, events can also be organized under the student branch at the job. You can request the student is conducting national level or international events. You can, if you request the IEEE Bangalore section, uh, they will send an e-notice to all the IEEE Bangalore section members. So I'm also a volunteer for the IEEE uh, since many years and uh, I'm the chair for uh, Information Theory Society Bangalore chapter and also the chair for IEEE Mysore subsection and uh, we have organized many events under the IEEE Bangalore section, uh, IEEE Mysore subsection as well as the IEEE Information Theory Society. With this IEEE I was, I can, I have become the IEEE virtual speaker by the virtual speaker uh, bureau program. And also I am the volunteer award. I, I got the IEEE volunteer award from IEEE Bangalore section. And uh, in IEEE, we have one more opportunity like a member get member award. Uh, you can also utilize this opportunity to refer your friends to become an IEEE member. And with this IEEE, I, am, I can able to organize uh, conferences. I have participated as conferences uh, as the publication chair and general chair for the few conferences. Uh, organized by the IEEE Bangalore section and as well as in our college. So with this IEEE, uh, I request all of you to get involved and uh, networking and uh, you can have the volunteering opportunity. Uh, if any, any doubts or any clarifications, you can contact us. Uh, so please note down the email ID, we listen at IEEEbangalore.org. Uh, so once again, I take this opportunity to thank the Divya Madam and uh, the Bangalore section chair, Dr. Bindu, Bindu Madhu sir and all other fellow speakers. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Paramesh Chari. Wonderful. Very quickly, we gave the overview along with you as a UK use case. And uh, Dr. Vishwas told in IEEE, uh, uh, one, I mean, lot of opportunities are, I mean, opportunities are endless. You, you told, all, I mean, using that, we can volunteer and give back. Okay, we give back to the society. Yeah. Well, 
with this uh, now i before now i request dr bindu uh, bindu madhava to conclude the session but before that we'll take one group photo shahid and pushpamala can you please Can you please unmute? Uh, however, possible, please please come over the video. We can take one the photo. Shahid, please announce. Come on, you can please. Thank you, uh, everyone. So. I think for now we can start with the Q and A session. If anybody has any questions, uh, they can post it in the chat yeah. window. Shahid, open your. Or else they can unmute and uh, speak. Video, take a photo. I can see. Uh, yes, sure. Chita, Superna, Moni, Lisa, Lagendra, Riti. Ashwini Hola, over. If possible, please come over the video. We can take it. Yeah, fine. Chengapa, shall we move on? Okay, fine. Thank you all. Uh, now, we, uh, it's a pleasure to have, I believe, Bangalore Section Chair Shri Bindu Madhava. He's the Senior Director and a Group Head at uh, uh, SEDAC Bangalore. He's a Senior Member. Sir, I request you to uh, address us. Uh, good afternoon. I'm sorry. Good evening uh, for all. Uh, so, it is nice to see that uh, uh, the MDC is very active in the fag end of the year also. So I'm happy. I, I just wanted to just join and see. Uh, it is nice that uh, people have uh, uh, given a lot of uh, things, which uh, which says that what are the benefits, especially by being a IEEE member. I just wanted to say that uh, I think uh, uh, everybody has heard the same uh, voice saying that the opportunities are endless. So you have to make use of the opportunity. Uh, you can become a member of IEEE and see. And um, uh, this is the only thing what I just wanted to convey. And I would like to thank uh, all the speakers of the day. So I was able to sort of listen to everybody. So I just thought that I'll just uh, join and see what is the thing happening. Uh, thanks for all uh, the other participants to join. If people are members, so like uh, our uh, president of IEEE says that uh, if you are members, a member already, uh, thanks for becoming a member. If you're not a member, please join IEEE and uh, see what are the things uh, which are there in the offering. So thank you, thank you, Divya, for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, Shahid, you have anything to conclude? Fine, like, okay, I would like to thank our uh, student friend, Shahid Khan, who helped us in connecting the WebEx and uh, hosting the session, uh, managing the session. The first one that I, may, I extend my thanks to Shahid and also I extend my next level thanks to Mr. Chengappa <laughs> because uh, uh, he's the one who always uh, connected and stayed and uh, helped us in all publicity and anything. Thank you so much. And I thank all the speakers who came over the board with the short notice. And uh, thank you one and all. But thank you very much. And I do not, but uh, I also would like to extend my thanks to all the participants. It was a small crowd of 30 members. Fine, no problem. But still, it is not that uh, those who are not coming, then they, they actually, these 30 members go and share with their friend circle. That is what I do. And I believe in that. So it may be, yes, of course, we would have spoken to hardly 25 to 20 members today. Well, but it spreads, our message spreads. That's why in order to accommodate uh, uh, various categories of the people and occupants, so we are repeating the same session three 
three times before we end the thing. We have taken approval from Bindu sir and the next session we are repeating similar but speakers are different okay because we cannot afford to have uh, Ashwini Vishwas every time come and sit and talk to us. No, it's not possible to bring such guys over the board every time. So next uh, uh, next session repeat session is on 11th December at same type same pattern speakers are different okay uh, and uh, again last session is on uh, 18th December, but uh, the Shimoga Engineering College people requested for an exclusive session for them. So it is on uh, 11th, we have two sessions, one for students exclusively and another for professionals. Uh, actually, uh, for students, Dr. Soma Pandey is addressing the benefits and opportunities. It's wonderful to listen to Dr. Soma Pandey about the benefits of the students. Please uh, tell your, share your friends to join all students friends to join on uh, 11th uh, December at uh, 7 o'clock I guess 7 30 she talks to you guys okay thank you thank you and the, I, I would like, like to extend my thanks to our chair and also all my MDC colleagues thank you one and all good night see you uh, next time thank you thank you ma'am uh, on, on, on this occasion I would also like to thank uh, Divya ma'am uh, chair of uh, MDC uh, for organizing such events uh, Ma'am, um, also there are some queries in the chat window. Um, uh, so, oh, please yeah, take it, it up, no? Yeah, so so it is particularly with the student branch petition. So I have asked them to reach out to Sujata, Ma'am. Uh, so Excellent. That, uh, they can take it up. Uh, so Excellent. I think it was from um, Suchit. Uh, Suchit, if you are still on the bridge and hearing us, uh, you can just drop a note to the SACT in PDL, which I've also shared in the chat window, and also uh, looping uh, Dr. Sujata, who is the chair of uh, Student Activities Committee, and we will be, we will be guiding you with the appropriate steps. Okay. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, that's the right answer for the question for the query. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then fine. Thank you. Those who all the attendees, please share with your friends and. Uh, you have any feedback please do write to us for so that we can improve in the next session and uh, next session is on 11th two sessions we are doing with lots of patients we are repeating the session twice one for students one for professionals thank you one and all good night shahid you can uh, close the session or thank you. Good night. Good night.